Well, today's the big day. Today we're going to start the process of putting Maggie out the other four. We're going to first lure the four down here, keep them occupied with food, then we're going to bring Maggie through the slide pipes and up to them. We have vehicles, fire extinguishers, noise makers. It's all distraction because if Ruby starts beating up somebody or a problem occurs, we have to make noise, distract them, and hopefully it's all going to go well. Part of what we do uh, to socialize and introduce elephants is to provide an activity where they're all comfortable. And you get the group to whom the new one is being introduced involved in sort of cooperative feeding, they're eating, it's fun, they feel good, and then bring the new one in. And we did that today with Maggie. The other four were happily eating bananas. They knew she was coming up, but they were sort of, oh well, we know she's coming. Maggie, on the other hand, with her big, loud voice, announced her entrance very loudly, which got all of them excited. And we saw the classic greeting that you see with African elephants in the wild. And they were all quite excited when she approached. The important thing for us was that Maggie moved into them, sort of ran away when she felt overwhelmed. Then she came back, and then she went away, and she had a great sense of freedom, of being able to manipulate and maneuver around them. And she very confidently went up the hill where she's on kind of her turf.
She went up there, moved up there, stayed on the outskirts, but then she'd move back in. At one point, I was hand-feeding Ruby because Ruby can be a problem, and I didn't want her to start thinking about going after Maggie. So I was just hand-feeding Ruby, and Maggie came right up behind her and was sniffing her, and that was great because Ruby does trigger if somebody comes behind her. And she knew Maggie was back there, but she just was very noncommittal. And 71 made some moves to let Maggie know that she was in charge. But that was all good, and Maggie handled it beautifully. She turned her little butt to them when she knew she should. And then we let her go up the hill and go through her gate to come back in. So now she knows she can be with them. But if she needs to get away, she can get away. And that's very important for her confidence. So we had a splendid day. Really wonderful.